What's up fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It is the most exciting time possibly ever in Clash of Clans history. We are looking at the 10th aka 40th Clash anniversary. You guys have seen the documentary by now, right? And yet maybe a little bit of a cameo in there from some Galadon Gaming voiceover from some videos. But yes, it is a shock to many that Clash's history actually dates back to 1982 and now now you can play the original clash game in the game and that is what we are going to show you today along with you ready for this cheat codes that's right because no 80s game would be complete without cheat codes so let's get into it you saw the arcade appear in the game over by clan games well here it is we're playing it the original Clash from 1982, and oh man, man, this really brought back the emotions, the feelings of the first time I ever played Clash, and uh, yes, played it, and played it, and played it, and now, of course, I had pretty much forgotten about it. Here it is again in all of its glory, and you guys get a chance to check it out to try to help Barbarian get his sword back like he did back in the 1980s. So I don't even know what else to say other than, yes, this is the most amazing Clash birthday anniversary special, and we are just getting underway. I mean, this is just the beginnings of the beginning. There is so much crazy cool stuff coming, and I gotta tell you, I've got some crazy cool stuff here. We'll be talking about it, showing it on the live streams, and giving some of the original cool Clash memorabilia from the 80s. Yes, okay, so that was stage one. We got the sword back. It does get a little bit harder. There are only three stages to this miniature version of the original Clash game, which was obviously a lot more difficult than this. But good news, yes, I also got some stuff from Supercell slash Barbarian. And notice on the box the date. That's right, this was originally from 1985. 1984, what the heck? Okay, what was inside? Well, yes, in addition to these really cool Clash stamps, we saw a massive Clash sword, a la 1980s style right there. But my favorite part was probably, okay, the shirts were cool too, and the hoodies and the crew necks and the original Barbarian, that's the Barbarian logo from 1982 and those were really really cool but it got cooler when we had a chance to look at for the first time in nearly 40 years the garbage pail kids from clash that's right these are the original tops you'll notice the date right here 1985 1985 tops it's a wax pack i grew up on wax packs now i apologize for the color there was no way to try to get the color just right on this without everything going crazy. Maybe I just had the wrong background, but yeah, you can see right there, 1985 tops. Yes, you may be familiar with Garbage Pail Kids and what, what, that was a cheat code right there. We'll, we'll show you that cheat code in just a moment, but I wanted to open these for you guys. And yes, I will be giving these away. Now I was hesitant to open up a nearly 40 year old wax pack, but Hey, why not, right? We're going to give some of these cards away. I've got the protectors you can see right there. We're going to be very careful about these. Now I realize they're probably no longer PSA 10s because they were touched by human hands. But come on, right away, probably my favorite card from the 80s. The Hog Biter. I mean, just, okay. You got to come by the live streams and I'll show you guys the entire set. And I will be giving away individual cards because they're going to be really hard to come by so individual cards going to you guys here's a better look at another the slob barian and yes okay so there's two puzzles just like garbage pail kids back in the day two puzzles that are put together by using nine cards each there are a total of 20 cards in the set and uh oh man i'm just i don't yeah again the color is all way too bright and it's just hard to see but so exciting to see these Garbage Pail Kids, Clash Garbage Pail Kids coming back. And by the way, you see in the frame right there, the top right, that is, by the way, the Supercell Elixir Golem Statue Serial Number 001. So yes, I've got a huge collection of memorabilia, but also, okay, look at this on the packs of cards. There's these letters where the barcode is, U-U-D-D-L-R-L-R-B-A. 
Now, if you played 80s games, you know that there are almost always cheat codes. And sure enough, if you're on the start menu, this part of the game, and you want the drool power up, that's right, the drool power up is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. And yes, you will activate super drool. And you know, a drooling barbarian is something very dangerous to deal with. So if you want a little bit of an advantage, you can hit the drool power up. There's also a shield power up, but it's just crazy to think that now, and I know a lot of you have been asking about this, the idea of a game within a game, a game playable within Clash of Clans. Now this is not going to be here forever, unfortunately. It would be great if we could see this and maybe the other Clash games that existed in the 90s and the 2000s. But okay, here we are. The shield power up is up, up, down, up, left, right, up, down, B. All from, again, the start menu right here. And then you will activate yourself the shield power up. There it is. You'll be rolling with the shield that you can pick up mid-game. And uh, yes, okay, so just in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and play through the three levels and you guys can see if you can beat my score or my time. But man, this just brings back the memories. For those of you that don't know, this was the golden age of video games. And this was when I was first playing growing up as a teenager. And yes, okay, so here we go. These are the three levels of the original Clash game. Again, the idea is to not get, yeah, not get destroyed by the goblins, to destroy the buildings, pick up the power-ups, but ultimately you've got to find Barbarian Sword. It's out there somewhere, and notice, that's right, we've got Archer Towers, we've got Gold Storages, Elixir Storages, Builder Huts. There are little traps that will eventually get you if you're not careful get sent you up to maybe a secret level, right? Yeah, it's possible. There's definitely a lot more to this game than what I'm showing you right here. And that's the exciting part. Lots of Easter eggs, lots of just cool things you can do to pass the time and pretend that you were back there. Oh, come on. In the day, in the early days of Clash with Galadon playing in the arcade because I grew up in arcades and oh, there it was right there inside the town hall. That was level one. And uh, it's going to get a little bit harder here. We're going to go through levels two and level three all together at once. And again, we'll set a score that you guys can try to beat. And I am not using the cheats. I'm not using the power-ups. We're just going through here, destroying builder huts. And obviously, you can see the art, the original ideas, town halls, archer towers, mortars, cannons. Everything is right here from 1982. And now, obviously, you guys got to start playing it in 2012. But 10 years later, Clash is going strong. And uh, wait, hold on. Got to pick up the rage and look out for the spike traps. Try to avoid the spike traps. You can double jump, which was a big thing back in the 80s as well. That'll help you get past those spike traps. And eventually we should, oh, wizard tower, look out. Take that wizard tower out of here. Again, you should be able to find some interesting things that I didn't see here. Perhaps even some hidden levels, hidden buildings, get a higher score, do it faster. Don't lose any lives. There's lots of different ways we can play this. And uh, yeah, I probably played a big portion of my childhood away, but that's okay because, you know, it's the arcades, man. 25 cents a pop, and we were having a blast. So trying to take out some more of these buildings here. There is the score multiplier. There we go. That is a 2x. There is also a 3x out there that you can triple your score if you pick that one up. So try to see every building as you move through, and sometimes you do have to backtrack, go up, go down levels, and again, make sure you're using the original joystick-style controls because it's just, oh man, it really is, it's it's awesome stuff. Okay, so we're nearly to the, what the, what the, okay, hold on. And then the red builder huts, and then, oh, not the wizard tower again. All right, cut the wizard tower, we're down to our last life, with only one life left, we are on level three, and there it is. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, spoiler alert, we are gonna finish the game. So now, of course, the original arcade game was a bit more complicated than this. A little bit longer to get through, but we got there. We got through the three levels. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is Barbarian going? Where the heck is Barbarian going, you guys? This is just the beginning. Stay tuned. Stay subscribed for exciting Clash Anniversary specials and giveaways. Thank you, Galafan, for watching all the way to the end of the episode. Now get out there, play the arcade game. And I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Clash Attacks.
Amazon Garage on 1982. I wasn't even born yet.